Alright, <clears throat> waiting on Joel to get in here. Let's see. Joel, are you in the room? We're going to talk about, uh, you know, walking around the, the conditioned. I've never actually had somebody on here together. There we go. Look at that. It's working. Hey, Jack. What's up, bro? How you doing? <clears throat> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How's uh, how was your weekend? It was pretty good. Can't complain. You try and uh, you try and go out there and uh, do any kind of shopping. Not Christmas shopping. I'm I'm done with that. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have tried doing that today. But like just any shopping. Uh, <clears throat> I went no. to Walmart. Mm -hmm. No nah, man. Yeah. Luckily, I took care of that already. <laughs> no, no. Well, Sundays is my my errand day. Got to grab food, whatever. But uh. I had to go to Walmart, and it's like it's it's New York where I am, right, Long Island. It took me uh took me took me an hour just to get out of the parking lot back on the road to go home. I think it took longer to get out of the parking lot than it did to actually do the shopping. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I was glad to I was glad to be done with that. Anyway, um, you know, me and you were talking a lot about you know people that are that are socially conditioned. You know what I mean? Like you know have to be in a random. I mean, what do you what do you think about it? every day just i mean you your life is kind of dictated by the conditions right you don't want to fuck with them i'm a big advocator of like leave everybody alone if they're not messing with your life but their conditioning and 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 playing a role in this this system kind of does mess with your life right well, well you know and, and that's kind of one of the weird things is like that that majority rule is a real thing you know and this is uh and this is the perfect example <clears throat> is because you know how we act individually it manifests in the aggregate and unfortunately people believe in illusions and and we pay for it so <clears throat> that's that's what i'm saying it's frustrating yes yesterday i, I probably shouldn't have went um live <laughs> in the in the middle of the night because i kind of i kind of kind of went off on a war path you know because i was thinking about it i do think about this shit quite a bit but you know what what other people uh, get together and say uh, should happen uh, has to happen for everybody and I'm kind of like I like I like dude right you see that uh, you see that uh, uh, that meme that I threw up there earlier with dude is like you know this side wants you to bake a cake and this side wants you to stand for the anthem uh, I don't know if you could tell from my demeanor I'm just kind of you guys do whatever the fuck you want to do, man. I, I'm not really into it, right? Dude's like, uh, yeah. You, yeah, just leave me out of it. But that's what's happening, right? They they vote and they, they do all this shit. Do people around you, like, actually, like, know? Like, you know that they know, but they're, like, participating anyway? What's their well, excuse? <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's, it's, you know, laziness, cowardice. I don't know. It's uh... – the more that I've learned, the more that you can see it, you know, it reflects in their, in their subconscious. Absolutely. It's, it, it's, 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 re, it's ridiculous. So I wrote down like uh, uh, the definition. I was sitting there talking to somebody at work and he didn't actually, you know what it was. And I didn't know how to put it into words. So it's the sociological process of training individuals in a society <clears throat> to respond in a manner generally approved by the, society in general and you know peer to peer groups school mainstream media authority they all play a part in 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 sculpting people you know conditioning them uh you know like what to wear uh what to eat what to think you know what to love it's it's you know it's kind of like, like that's why i don't watch tv i actually went even further when the George Bush thing came out, I mean, that was just fucking ridiculous. I'm like, this guy is not a good guy. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> but, but, but we put him up on an altar, but, you know. It's... 
right? I mean, but like, you know, everybody's shitting on him. Everybody's shitting on him. I, I, people that like I know that play a role in the, in the, in the political thing, right? This goes with conditioning, right? They're just going to go along with what everybody else does so that they'll even alone. Like, I, I rocked on him, you know, right away. Uh, <laughs> but like, <laughs> and, and I had one guy at work, the people at work, but they won't even like talk to me. It's hilarious because I just, I, I'm like this all the time. I just can't stand these people. I'd rather leave you alone. But, you know, your conditioning, your, your willingness to go along with this. Hey, look, I voted. And now they're, like you said, lazy. But that's, okay, I played my part. I, I voted. Look, all right, whatever happens, it's not my fault. I, I voted for them. He did it. You know what I mean? <laughs> conditioning, well, it's absolute, right? It's absolutely their fault because, you know, they're trying to enslave us through their voting system. You know, it's a, it's a problem. You know, if, if people can do what they want to do until it begins to affect me. And, you know, and that's – and. It, that's where you know those the line is so yeah and it, but it does affect you so the line's there all the time they, they cross it every every fucking day with their whole process you know this uh this majority rule thing but you know i, I mean if we didn't have it we'd all be chewing each other's faces off and uh you know we'd be robbing each other and it would just be complete insane it couldn't possibly <laughs> you know it, it's gonna be it's gonna be much worse so much worse than us bombing other countries all the time if, if we didn't have them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, this ain't <laughs> chaos, right? No, this is, this is, this is normal. This is calm. That, this is the conditioning, right? They yeah. actually see people, uh, you know, cops beating people up, stealing their fucking money, reselling their drugs. Uh, you know, and, and these conditioned people are, you know, they think to themselves, just keep moving. They don't want to do anything or help because they're like, well, that guy probably did a bad thing, right? I mean, he did a bad right. thing. That's why he's getting that. <laughs> and as long as they don't have to get their hands dirty, they, they think they're clean. It, exactly. You know what? My friend, Justin Padini, he says that all the time. They really like that's, you know, well, I didn't do it. It's like the cop is like, well, I'm just doing my job. This is this is the conditioning uh, of everything, even even for for the enforcers. Right. I mean, if they do realize what they're doing is fucked up, you know, they could always roll around to. Well, I was just doing my job, you know, that's. That's my that's my that's my fall through right there. I'm just doing my job. Let me see right here. Go ahead, man. I'm just gonna read this really quick. Yeah. What do you think? Well, man, the the conditioning it breaks down into th into three things, and and from what I understand, you you know you understand some some symbolism. So, the the three basic levels I think that it plays out in is number one, we've got on the mental level, we've got indoctrination, right? Yep. There's the start. There's a start. On level two, we have uh, the emotional conditioning, which is duress, you know, which is, hey, well, if you don't do what we told you is right, you know, hey, here's the, here's the, here comes the threats, which puts you in a, an emotional kind of scared thing. And then three, if you don't actually go along and obey with it, here comes the physical level. We're going we're gonna to have, you know, harm you with violence. Yes. You know, oh that's... my God, dude, you're dead on. I'm so glad that I met you. Spot on. My friend Justin's sitting here listening right now. I, I mean, you guys are like almost identical in the way you just put out there. Well put. Well put. Thanks. So I had the, I had the <laughs> pleasure of meting Justin one time in Philadelphia, actually. So. No shit. Yeah. So, oh, you know, oh, you know JP. Oh, no shit. Hey, are you going to uh, Anarchapoco? Not to get off the subject, but are you going to Anarchapoco? I wish I could. I highly doubt it. Oh, though. Yes. oh man. I'm. I'm I'm, I'm kind of kind of psyched about it. Go buy those tickets. Uh, hopefully, here in a little bit, Justin. Right, the tickets. Hopefully, in a little bit, we we buy the tickets and get this shit done. And then I'm gonna wave them around on Facebook. Look, I'm going. Who else gonna be there? But anyway, Lucky, uh, <laughs> look, man, I missed it last year. I had to listen to Justin tell me how great it was. <laughs> so let's go here. Uh, we got Samantha. Hey, Samantha, what's up? Um, so she says, "What do we think the most dangerous?" What is the most dangerous illusion people believe? That's a good question, man. I, I got religion, right? Got religion over here. That's super dangerous, <laughs> right? We, we, we have to agree on that. Agreed. And then you got government. I don't really think that there's a difference. So we could just put it all together, right? It forms the, it, the royal arch, right? The strongest... Yep. yep. It, it's, it's, everybody tries to separate. I mean, they say ch separate church and state. We can't. <laughs> They're together. They walk hand in hand. 
They've been used on us forever. If it wasn't one form of authority, it's another form of authority. This is what I tell our people all the time. You, you, you guys are trying to like separate or, or, or say that we're in some better situation. Not you, but like, or, or anybody here, but like, that's what people say. Like, wow, this is democracy. Uh, uh, this, is, this is the best we've ever had it. Oof. But if you're like not drinking, you're, you know, you're eating right, you're, you're just on this level of consciousness, it automatically is relevant to me or, or anybody else that this is no different than any other system of control that we've ever had, right? I, I think it's all been the same. It's just been done up a little bit fucking different so that they could keep the, the slave, the sheep will and, and control. I mean, that's where we are right now, right? They tell them um, you're free. You have control over everything that we're doing by voting. What, what do you think? Well, that's, I, think that's that, much... I, I think that's why it's the most dangerous one is because they've, they've allowed you to believe that you have some kind of legitimate role to play in it. So not only now are you just a slave to a monarch, but now you're a master over other people through this, you know, democracy. Oh, now you can, you know, rule over your neighbor, but at the same time you're made a slave through the same process. And that's why I feel like it's almost democracy is the most dangerous thing, you know? Kind of weird. <laughs> yep. I hear democracy and I, I, I think we're about ready to invade a country or something, you know? Yeah. Cause... Right. <laughs> or, or a bomb's going to fall every time I think about democracy. Yeah. So to, to I spread it though, in the name of spreading democracy, you know, in, in, in the name of saving people and, 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 yeah. and freeing people. Right. Yep. <laughs> That's how they tell them. So we got some other stuff here. I'm trying to keep up with the notes. It needs to be. So we got Andrew. Andrew, thank you so much for coming here tonight. So needs to be a condensed and more focused locally. 300 plus million people is too much for a democracy, I think. I think Justin was saying something of the same regards up here, too. 200 million organized deaths in last. 100 years it needs to be more condensed i i don't really have like uh i want to go with the left i want to go with the right uh, um you know i do feel that there needs to be some sort of organization but i i, I don't i think it needs to be on a local level i i really like a, a lot of different philosophies but i i say abolish all government you know I, you, okay so everybody's like okay let's get to this point <laughs> everybody's always like oh you could talk you could talk you could talk you could talk right but you don't have any you don't have any suggestions you, you don't you don't know how to make it better well i mean why the fuck are you asking me man i i just want to i just want to live right what what about you, you just want to live just why are you asking yeah. somebody else you know what what everybody should do are you that pathetic you can't figure out what the fuck you're supposed to do as soon as everybody could do that Man, life is going to be great. What, what do you well, think? And that, and that's, that's, that's the underlying thing is, is they want somebody to, tell, to give them an answer and to tell them what to do. I mean, you right. know, that's what underlies that. It's just, hey, you know, oh, if you don't have everything figured out, then, you know, you're some kind of social justice warrior. Get off the stage. Yep. You know, when all you're trying to do is point out the fact that there's a problem that everybody knows exists. I mean, get real, you know. It's it's more now though. Have you noticed? Like, have you felt it? Like, there's more people that wouldn't have, you know, ever said that it's fucked up that are saying it's fucked up now. They just they're just scared, right? That they're gonna lose their material shit, and that, and that's kind of what I was gonna talk about next, right? This uh, this this uh, the society, this matrix, right? It's kind of it, it takes you along the way, right? You're indoctrinated for 12 years, it, you know, you do authority, but then it's the TV, it's the radio. This is what I was saying earlier, and I and I got off beat. It's the TV. It's the radio. It's they're they're feeding you, right? It's like you're you're just a mindless zombie. You got materialistic shit. I'm so glad I'm off that level because now money doesn't mean a fucking thing to me. But they tell you what to wear, right? If you look at yep. uh, you know conditioning, remember when we went from uh, bat bathing suits to bikinis? What was acceptable, right? What people thought and would tolerate and not tolerate, based on conditioning, right? Absolutely. Yep. What what to eat? The, the, the FDA, uh, what's the other one? You know, re religion, you know, Muslims say you can't eat, you can't eat this. And then, uh, you know, the FDA says, this is great, right? One week coconut oil is fucking amazing for you. <laughs> and the next week, it's horrible. Yep. Yep. 
And, and, and then you see the conditioning happen. I've seen like four or five people posting up scientific facts about coconut oil being bad. Stupid. You were just telling me two weeks ago that I should do this shit. <laughs> it's better for you. They got conditioned by, by society. I mean, what do you think about all that? I mean, when you, when you think about conditioning, and we're out of school. You're out of your parents' home. I mean, at this point, what is, is continuing to keep you just okay with, with cops beating people and, you know, taxes, stealing your shit? What, what continues to drive people to be like that? Is it TV? Is it, is it a combination of everything? Is it their friends, their family? You know, I, I do. I think it's a combination of everything because I think it first starts with unconscious parenting, which is, I think, you know, something that a lot of people have, have suffered from, um, you know, because, I mean, they call it your formative years, right? You know, like you're, you know, like a formatting a hard drive. That's all you have to go off of. It only gets reinforced when you get introduced in the indoctrination system, which is built based off of a Prussian education model, which was a based off a of do what you're told ideology. I mean, that's what it comes from. Yep. What, what do we think is going to happen, you know? And then as, you know, as you progress through that, I mean, and through the school system, now when we're like guaranteeing to pay for college, we're guaranteeing debt and guaranteeing debt slaves. I but can't even gonna fucking go tell you. <laughs> go ahead, man. I'm, I'm on yeah. that tip. Nothing, nothing's going to go wrong with that though. You know? Uh, yeah, absolutely not, man. You go to college, everything's going to be great. I, I am actually, man, I'm an old kind of shit. That, that's why I hate the banks. They're garnishing my wages for college, right? The University of Phoenix shit. I was going to do the, the whole lawsuit because they kind of fucked me on my degree. Just kind of, man, I got played out so hard. So some people, uh, you know, but if I called them, the lawyer that everybody's doing, he's like, yeah, they're going to take away your degree. Man. <laughs> You know how hard I worked for that? It, it, is, it is more difficult than, than have, being in a schoolroom. Oh, okay, so they're wrong. Yeah, we get that. But you're going to take a degree even though you worked for it, even though you got the wrong one. So, yeah. I, it, but it didn't do anything for me. It's the worst thing that I've ever done. Worst thing. And then, you know, the IRS – Wow, they want money. <laughs> so if you, saw my, if you saw my video, I go to the bank and I take everything out all the time. Everybody's like, that's crazy. That's crazy. I was like, kidding me, man. Not only do they only allow me to have so much of my money, I feel like a school kid. This is, this is another thing, right? Like I look at this shit all the time. So your ATM machine, right, if you have money in there, it's only going to let you take so much of your money. It tells you that you've reached your limit. But people are conditioned to, to, to think that this is okay. <laughs> yeah. That a, bank yeah. Can tell, that a bank can tell you how much money. This is what I'm saying. Like, do you see it? I see it everywhere I go, everywhere I go, everywhere I go. I see people so conditioned. I mean, they're, they're, they look exactly like zombies. So I, I played that video. I was having fun, right? I saw the cop thing, and I was like, look, <laughs> there's the league. There's the League of Enforcers. There's those pieces of shit. And he was sitting in his car, and he saw me when I picked up the thing up there. I was like, I don't give a fuck. Then I go into the bank, and I was like, I'm going to take out all my money. I'm going to take it all out. I do it all the time. And then it says, oh, you've let messed your limit. So I go to another bank, and it's like, no, you messed your limit. And it's like, okay, so at this point, you're telling me I can't have the rest of my money tonight. Wow. That's not okay. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm not. Right. But everybody else, like I, I told a friend that, you know, he votes and shit. He goes, well, man, that's the way it is, you know? And I was like, because what? <laughs> <That's the suit>. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I, this, hey, is, this is why. Uh -huh, go ahead. <laughs> That, that's one of the that's one of the things people you know get so scared of about anarchy is oh you know there has to be rules there has to be rules when etymologically break it down all it means is no rulers there's always yep. rules we know that there's always rules but people don't it, want to play the game that's it's they they're scared to do anything else if we have anarchy and I'm not I'm not, you know I got out of th I'm not an anarchist. I'm not a volunteerist. I'm not a, I don't know what an ANCAP is. I keep seeing it and I try to read about it. I don't, I don't, I don't get it, but I'm not, I don't claim that. I, I don't claim nothing, right? I, I tell everybody all the time. They're like, Oh, the anarchy. I like, like, I like ideas from anarchy. You know, I, I like ideas from this. I like, I, I'm studying about everything. I like volunteerism. It, it was a uh, green army. I, I, that's pronounced. That's how you pronounce his name. A while ago when I met him, he started explaining it to me. I like some of the stuff from that, you know, it's like, Every, everybody, this is, this is the thing. It's like uh, they got this big thing. This, this is why we can never get past uh, us getting united and doing something is because you see everybody fighting, everybody fighting. 
they're like, oh, oh well, you know, this it, it's completely fucked. The entire idea of, 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 of that is fucked up because it's missing this. Do, do you know what I'm saying? That's I my do. problem. That's yep. my problem with everybody. Listen, you don't like, you don't have to like everything from something, right? You don't have to like everything from something. Anarchy has its good points. Uh, you know, voluntarism has its good time. I, I read about homesteading. There's some, you know, I'm trying to like enlighten myself and everything. Like not a Satanist, but I'm reading about it. You know, the occult, I'm trying to learn about it. Symbolism. I, I got for like to tell you how crazy I am about everything like this in my life right now. I, I wanted to like heighten my senses. So these right here have not come out of my ears for an entire week and a half. I hear nothing from nobody all day. Swear to you, bro. Unless I'm at work. And it's cool. And I've just noticed that like, man, I could, I could, I could read shit really crazy when, when you turn this part off. You know what I mean? That's commitment, it really, man. <laughs> it's, I, I, I've gotten to this, this thing, right? And I'm not going to go off point because <laughs> I'm just saying, but I'm like really happy all the time. That's why I want to talk to you. Like, I like doing this. This is like, what do you call that? What's that? What's that? Uh, con confessional? How I felt <laughs> <laughs> about, about the world, about life in general. But like, right now I'm like on this thing. I'm on this, uh, uh, I, I just... I'm a compass, man. I want to learn everything. And it's like, you know, somebody, you know, you were like, oh, I want to get into it. You are getting into it. Look, man, you're doing this. This is more than anybody who votes or, or just talk shit is doing, right? Because if we have an idea like anarchy or something else that they can pick off of and make their life better, and we can all get to this spot where we're like, we don't need authority because we, we respect one another. And if somebody does get aligned, it will be taken care of. That's how things are, you know? But everybody's scared that somebody's not going to tell you how to do it every day. But that's the point that we need to get Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's why I'm, I'm having these conversations, right? I, I'm not a genius like Mark Passio. Definitely not a Larkin Rose. But I got a good idea of what's going on, and so do you. So if you just take like little points, like I mean, conditioning. That's the biggest deal, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta take them out of this mind state that this is okay. Right? They're not gonna listen to it right away. They're not. They're gonna shut you off. They're gonna, ah, la, la, la. You get those people. My mom. I love my mom. Yeah. Can't, can't fix it. <laughs> you it's know? that emotional fear, though. You know, just it shuts down because it, it goes against everything they've been indoctrinated into from literally the time they were born. You know. It's, I know. It's frustrating. It's absolutely frustrating. How do <laughs> well, you? How do you? Let me just ask that real quick. I'm sorry. How, how do you ahead. approach approach people? What do you, when you, know, you talk to him? I, I, you know, I've, I've gone through a few different stages and, and, <clears throat> you know, I've gone through things where I try to talk to anybody and everybody I've gone through, a, you know, the stage of where I just don't talk to anybody about it because no one really, no one cares, you know, and that's, you know, kind of the problem is no one wants to, you know what I mean? It's not only can they not, uh, It's hard to put in words on now. Have you got anybody to like to change? Oh, there you go. Oh, it froze. Yeah, I lost you a little bit. So have you seen anybody turn around now in, in, in your work going out there? And I know it wasn't like right away, but do you, do you have you seen people that like uh, have like like changed up, just not voting I'm, anymore? Uh, you know, I've seen a few, but but the the thing is, is I've mainly seen it through when they experience hardship through the state you know what i mean it's yeah it's, it's kind of funny i've heard people say you know a libertarian is um is a liberal who understands economics or it's a conservative who's had their ass kicked by the cops you know it's, <laughs> yep it's, but it's, people it's, have it's to come a... to their own understanding i guess through their own life experience but i don't know it's it's kind of rough i can't wait I can't wait for that, man. I, I'm I'm sorry that they don't want to be unplugged. <laughs> Them being <laughs> fucked up is fucking with my shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's, ah, uh, and, and and I've went to those stages too, man. Where I'm like, now, nah, man, I I I I I, I uh, fuck fuck it. I'm not talking to anybody. But then I'm just not helping myself either. It's kind of selfish. You know what you got to do? People are like, oh, you can't unplug everybody. No, you can't unplug everybody. You got to unplug most of them because otherwise. I'm just going to have to deal with some shit that I didn't agree with. And I'm over that, man. <laughs> and I'm done with it. And that's the thing is, you know, even if, even if I'm not going to reach anybody, even if I'm not, even if a seed that I plant doesn't grow, 
just for my own, you know, peace of mind sake, I've got to have the universe understand where I was for the record on this, you know, because, you know, I, I don't, fixed. I don't, if I'm to be honest, I don't have any hope for thing. I think that we'll kill ourselves before humanity understands the message that people like me and you are trying to get across. But, you know, I, for, for my own, you know, peace of mind sake, I, I can't just go along to get along anymore, you know? Yep. You got you to feel like you're doing something, right? I, who yeah. knows Who knows what's going to happen? There's just a million different philosophies, you know, where this is going to take us, what's going to be next. I'm hopeful. It's all I got in life that this shit's going to change over. I, I have seen a lot of people, you know, around me, like, you know, you know you're right, blah, blah, blah. Not everybody, like my mom, like I said, like I, I, I drill her all the time, and I'm just not getting through. She, I think she just says something to me. So it'll stop, right? Because MSNBC <laughs> are pretty bad, man. I'm like the guy that shows up at a Christmas party. And I, I fucking ruin it. <laughs> and I can't, and I can't, and I can't help myself, right? I just, it's like, man, you guys are just all over my shit. It's like somebody poking you. I, I can't just not do something. It's like, you know, you guys are constantly at me with this, with this bullshit, you know? Okay. And it's yeah, it's it, it's 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 frustrating. I actually wrote down a bunch of notes because I think about this this shit this much. Uh, oh yeah, and and you want to talk about like really really conditioned? I think this is the last thing that I'm going to say because this is this is the one that came to me when I got out of bed this morning. Everything will change here soon. Do I watch the markets? I, I don't I don't watch any TV. I, I don't watch the markets. I, I it's like I said, I, I don't want to be any part of the central banking system. Um because I know where that is. I what what do you what do you do, Joel? I do I mean watch the markets. I used to. I mean I used to you know, buy as much silver and gold as I could. You know, when I first learned learned about this information, I used to think that, you know, the collapse was right around the corner, you know, and this is, you know, the more I'm learning is, you know, we, we're in, we're in it right now. We're in the, yep. it's, it's getting out of it. It's, and that's the whole point of the resurrection and digging yourself out of this grave, you know, and that's, that's what we got to do. Yep. Spot on, man. Spot on. I, I do feel like it's changing. I, and there's a, there's a couple different clues, right? Got the yellow vest movement. It might not have been really, really big, you know, here in the United States yet. But you do see it, you know, it, you do see it coming about, right? So, yeah, to go back on, on the stock market, yeah, I don't want to play any part in, in, in their orchestrated circus. Like, if you watch anything about me, I, I mean, I, I tell Joel, I'm like this all the time. When I'm looking for food, I'm not going to get food where everybody else is. I seriously am thinking all the time in everything that I do. Did you see my post earlier? I hunt down the smallest local business spot that I can. And I get my food from there. And I pay cash. I pay cash for everything. I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to incriminate anybody I talk to. Mm -hmm. But by paying cash, everybody gets to keep a little bit more of their money. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And I, and, I, and, I, and I do like that all the time. You know? I, 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 that's everything I do, man. I'm, I'm always trying to think about what I'm doing to, to, to not help the system. I, I, I pull out all my money. Like I said, 80, 81 cents. <laughs> That's what they can keep in mind and play with in the market. 81, <laughs> cent, 81 cents. <laughs> hey, well, with, with fractional reserve banking, it's more like $8 and something, right? <laughs> I, I, yeah. yeah. So, I, here's, and it's funny we get on this, right? Because I actually met this woman. I, I've been getting a lot of friends requests, and it's really, really cool. And it's kind of like I'm happy that, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm talking and I'm posting memes. I met you, bro. Awesome. And I met this other girl. She's going to help me out in, uh, in Arcapulco. I'm going on a, I'm going on a spirit trip. <laughs> it's going to oh, be yeah. awesome. Oh, dude, I can't wait. It's going to be, it's going to be really, really great. I'm going to, I'm going to be with, with shamans who know the medicine. I'm going to hang out in the desert. And I'm going to get to that alternate playing field that everybody else has been talking about. Like, I really want to do. I want to learn how to do. Uh, um, fuck, I can't think of the word. I, there's, there's a different, there's a, there's a spiritual side to life, man. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see. It. I'm trying to learn hey, about man. it. That's true. I'll tell you what, and I'm not trying to just like plug Passio, but it, I've, I've been kind of, you know, on, on this, on this kick for, 
you know, coming up on ten, about 10 years now. But only yeah. about three years ago, I got introduced to Passio's work. And that's the kind of information that uh, drew me out of my long stint of atheism. You know, it really did. It, you know, it, it, it really connected a lot of the dots. Uh, and, and it's a whole it's a whole new, you know, way of seeing things. I'll, I'll say that much. That's that's it, man. That's 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 all you really got. Money. Money is bullshit. Uh, material items is, is bull. I was there, man. But I, you, you really, really feel a different kind of world when when you're not thinking about that shit all the time. And that's and that's you know, like Mark Passio says, you know, like you start connecting. You know what I'm saying? He, he's Absolutely. got a lot, dude. I I loved him. I'm glad you brought him up. That guy really does put in a lot of his fucking work and at time energy for nothing. So he could help other yep. people out. I fucking love that guy. Justin, Justin actually hangs out with him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Padini, Padini knows everybody in the game. Like if you see him, <laughs> he goes up there. He goes up there to meet these people. You gotta love that. You know, he he's actually interviewed uh, Mark Passio, uh, Larkin Rose. Like he knows a, he knows a lot of people, man. I'm really really lucky to have him on my side because like I ask a question and he's just he's all over it. So well, that's actually luckily that's where I met Padini was uh I was going up to Philadelphia to to catch uh Passio's second amendment uh part 2 and uh I'm outside taking a few drags and I hear Padini telling telling some jokes. I'm just eavesdropping <laughs> on this guy. And and he's cracking me up, you know what I mean? And and little did I come to know he's he's catching Passio's event too. And so it was it was pretty cool, but Padini, Padini's actually in the room right now. I like to post up his jokes. It's pretty funny. He is <laughs> random as fuck. He really doesn't give a shit. <laughs> who, who, who gets a fair man? I'm telling you, I've seen him in groups of people, and he'll just let off, and you'll see maybe like one or two people offended, and he just continues to talk like he doesn't even see it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the funniest shit just to watch him operate in life. It is really funny. Padini is really funny. I'm not just tooting his horn. I really, really love when he's around. It makes me laugh. It's fucking hilarious. But yeah, well, Dick, yeah, here's here's the funniest thing. I thought I thought that you know Justin would make this funny. Maybe you can make a make a joke out of this, right? Because this is this is the newest thing. That, that the biggest conditioned thing, right? That 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 you'll see with people. We'll we'll talk about Christmas in a minute because that's some serious conditioning. That they're getting they're getting conditioned to open their fucking wallets <laughs> for shit right. that isn't real, you know. Uh, that that shit's funny. But but the funnier thing is um, when when you talk about right and wrong right and, and, and people accept it from authority so heroin's bad we all agree with that it's bad i, I guess sure. i mean there's maybe there's a good way to do it i don't <laughs> think i don't i don't i but i don't think we learned how to how to do that right <laughs> you know what i mean because it just looks like no good comes out of it but authority will arrest somebody on the street and everybody in the world all, all these plugged in people that circulate us around in the matrix they can dim your your local exchange, right? That doesn't involve government taxes and all that other shit. And they should die and they should go to prison. That's that's what the sheep will accept. That's that's the norm. And then you have big pharma murdering people. That's acceptable. That's they've been conditioned to think that that's different than the gun street. Well, I don't think drugs are bad. I didn't say that. I didn't say that at all. I, I, I'm, I'm with you, Mason. Like I said, I'm, I'm going on a spirit journey in the desert in Mexico. I, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, heroin. I don't know anything about it. I'm not. I, I, that's what I said. Uh, but like, uh, I, I don't know if there's a good way to do it. I just, I haven't seen anybody looking good. I, maybe they feel great. I, I don't know. They just don't look like they're doing good to me. But it, hey, they want to do it. Like I'm not going to disagree with anybody. I'm not, you know, I'm not batting the stick. I do stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? To 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 have fun. Uh, just that one just doesn't look too fun to me. You're right. Uh, but what I'm saying about you know drugs being bad, it's it's not that they're bad, right? It's it's that the conditioned people that that are surround us, and this is kind of what I'm saying. We'll think one is bad and one is good, and it's the same fucking thing. Well, that, and it's been a taboo, right? I mean, you look at like how you know in Spain how they treat wine. You know what I mean? Kids don't grow up 
going to college and pounding beers because it's not just taboo, you know. It's, it, it's yeah. just they, they they use like this this revolt, this like youth rebellion against us almost. You know, they demonize all the stuff when you're young, and then when you're older, you don't know how to handle it because you have been educated. You only you, you know you have no self control. You know, you've been told what to do your whole life, and now you get this little taste of freedom, and you just want to go wild, and then you OD, and you... That's, I mean, that's why freedom would be so bad, right, man? People would actually start doing things. They wouldn't be blocked up here like, am I, am I, am I going to get in trouble for this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. It looks cool. You guys are all having fun. Can we get in trouble for this? Right? Right. Scared, man. scared, man. Scared, scared to live life. So scared, so scared. But that's because they've been conditioned, right? Hey, Authority didn't Jay. say it was okay. Yep. Let's go over through a few more ways that we're conditioned here. What about travel, man? What do you think? TSA checkpoints. There's DUI checkpoints. There's drug Ridiculous. checkpoints. There's Crazy. immigration checkpoints. Oh, hey, you better have a license, registration, insurance to, to drive in your car on the roads that you pay for. Oh, and by the way, you're going to pay for police to pull you over and give you a ticket for not wearing your seatbelt in your car <laughs> in the roads you pay for. I mean, you're speaking it's, my language. What a vicious They're cycle, conditioned. Man. They're conditioned yeah. to think that's okay. Yep. But them thinking it's okay goes back to what we were saying before. I don't agree with this shit, but your system. You know, and me and my friends over here, you know, Joe, we, it's my seatbelt, dude. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, your, your, your windows, never, you know, they better not be this dark tinted. or, yeah. Yeah, tinted, tinted. Yeah. There's another one. Yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. On, on your vehicle, though. Your <laughs> vehicle, mind you, yeah. Oh, I told you about the shit that I went through. Was it you I was talking to? I think it was you I was talking to. Yeah. I, I went through a bunch of shit this year, right? And this is because other people think that this is okay. I didn't do anything to anybody. I, I was I went through this awful spill in life. Like it was it was bad. It just it just sucked. I couldn't, man. I couldn't get shit to stop. When it rains, it pours, man. So you know, lost my car. <laughs> well, yeah, but this is this is what led to it. Lost my car. Lost my job. Lost my motorcycles. Got stolen. I just started losing all material shit. And and, and you're right. But I I was already on this trip. But not as bad, right? When, when you hit that bottom, right, and you start to see everybody coming at you, and it ain't you, it's 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 authority, man. They're coming at you because you don't have money to participate in their in their in their thing, this this matrix, right? And I'm just trying to get through it and, and get back to my feet so I can, you know, give the landlords their money and leave me alone. So you know, and, and and at this point, I was getting better. I got a job again. I'm, I'm putting money together. Things are starting to get back on my feet, and they're just pulling me over, right? Because I don't have the sticker on the car. I don't have the sticker. I didn't do anything. I didn't hurt anybody. I Man, I was going to work. That was the first one. He let me go because I kind of like talked to him, like I'm talking to you right now, and I think he was just really just <laughs> confused, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I got pulled over again. Right? Uh, going, I don't know. I was going somewhere. It doesn't matter what the fuck. I, I don't ever tell them either. He's like, you know, I, <laughs> you know why I pulled you over today? A sticker. How'd you know that? Because you're the second guy who told me about the sticker. Don't, don't be a smart ass. I, I could take your car. I was like, wait a minute. I bought this, man. You could just take my car? Why, why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you take my car, man? Look at me. I, look at me. Does it look like I'm doing great, bro? I was like, I'm, if I could get this sticker and you'd leave me alone, trust me, I would get the fucking sticker because I don't like this. I don't like it. it sucks. <laughs> I was trying to go somewhere. And he goes, he goes, you know, you're kind of funny. I, I, I don't see you being an asshole. I was like, no, I'll be totally honest with you, man. I, I wouldn't be driving around without the sticker if I could get away with fixing that check engine light, which is going to cost me more than I could afford to put out of my pocket right now. All right, man. I, you know, I should take the car. Well, thank you for not taking the car. <laughs> <laughs> See, oh, just, I, I, it's not like I never bought this thing. I don't own it. It's not mine. Yeah. It's, it's but the I, car, not your car. Yeah. Right. It's, it's the car, right? It's like the IRS. It's theirs. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> T H E I R S. It's it's 
theirs. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, That's good. That's good. The, I, I, I cannot take credit for that. I will not take credit for that. Justin Padini told me that. I cannot. When it comes to symbolism, that motherfucker is on point. He, he points things out to me all the time. And that one is his. It's the IRS. Listen, listen. The IRS. Theirs. Well, pay Padini. <laughs> I'm going to be taxing that from you. So you better... Yeah, yeah, that's I won't take credit for something that I didn't, but yeah, he told me that. But look at how much that's that makes sense. Television, <laughs> tell a uh, vision, a hey, vision, yeah. Right. Hey, you know, you know what's funny too about these taxes that we pay, man? It's like, and I come from a small town, man. The town I live in is about 3,000 people, give or take. So, but given so. You got to have this registration. You have to have this license. You know, you have to have your your uh, license plate number. All this stuff, right? Yeah. We pay we we pay all these taxes. Yet, you know, you can't just go in there and get a license. You got to pay for your license. Your taxes aren't paying for this stuff. They're just paying the people who charge you for this stuff. Yeah. You ever see? You know, it's like, how ridiculous, man. Yeah. I oh god, there's so many things I wouldn't want to do, but like because everybody's conditioned and accepting this, and a majority, and rooting for it, ah. and, I, and rooting for it. At, me and you, we have to deal with it. Sucks. I love it. Sucks. Yeah. Fuck. Hey, Mason, I got your friend request today. Are, you're a tattoo artist. Is he still in here? I hope so. He does most of my tattoos. I went to high school. With oh, tattoos. you 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 know him? Oh yeah, he's one of my best friends. Where are you? Me? Yep. Kansas. Ah, I I have I know people in Kansas. I'm I'm from Missouri originally. I was born there. No Saint shit. Joseph. Yes, yes, right Saint Joseph, on, Missouri. Man. Kansas, Kansas was uh, was a good time. I I might come <laughs> down there for a tattoo. If he's that good, I, I was looking at his pictures. I guess he's not here anymore. But yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to you, so I could so I could talk to him on a on a personal level. I, okay, Justin, I know you probably didn't make it up because you research everything. All I'm saying is, I got it from you. That's that's where I got that's where I got the IRS thing at. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I pretty we pretty much we pretty much killed you know the entire subject. That's that that's that's the know, problem. Man. That's the problem a, with condition. We're all fucked. I got a lot more notes. I don't know if we killed oh, them. Oh, all right. Oh, I'm man. Done. Oh, oh, hey, let's, oh, let's man. talk about what you got. I'm done. Hey, go, go ahead. Let's, let's talk about the Bill of Rights and the exceptions to the Bill of Rights. You know, so we need permits to assemble. We need permits to protest. We need permits to hand out information. Oh, yep. free, free speech zones. Okay. Oh, you can't have a, a lemonade stand. You need a license to cut hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, you need a, a permit to, to carry a firearm and defend your life. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, you know, exceptions. It's ridiculous. Uh, you know, and, and symbolism underlies all of this stuff. You know what I mean? You go to a stop yep. sign, you got the double square. You yield sign, you got your upside down feminine triangle, you know, the yep. passive. You got all this stuff underlying that. The, the, under, the, the whole message under, under, underlying it, though, is you don't own you. We yep. own you. And yep. you're not free to make, even if they're stupid decisions like heroin, you're not free to make your own stupid decisions. Right, because you're proud of those, those and aren't that, decisions you can make your own. That's right. And another point that I wanted to make here before we get off of here is just like we're being, being conditioned, the enforcers are being conditioned oh, too. Yep, so, absolutely. So yep. So the house slaves are being conditioned to, uh, that they're morally sanctioned to break natural law. Uh, you know, and they don't care who and what they're being told to, to do and hurt or whatever, as long as they're hurting somebody. Yep. But the sad thing is, is they're putting their chains on their own children. And then, and you know, they're, they're, they're conditioning, they're conditioning everybody. It's, it's, yep. you know, uh, they, the, the masters know us better than we do. Right. They, they have things up there that, that like, like the stop sign, um, you know, like the, uh, the yield sign, all these things are symbolisms. They're there for a reason. They, they trigger us to act and operate a certain way. Whether you believe it or not, it, it, it does, right? The other one, to get on that point, um, is like the, uh, the gas station signs, right? BP, uh, uh, 76, things like that. Uh, you know, Justin probably described this better. What do they all have in common? Life force energy. Yes, the sun. 
right? Bringing us all to it all the time. Exactly. Hey, we just had the, the winter solstice, man. <laughs> it is I, I, the season, you know? Yep, I, I, I know. And I, and I feel I'm really, I'm really happy to be in this place and knowing you and, and, and a lot of other people, even, even though it's not may, maybe, and, and I hate to say this because I hate when people say it, they're like, oh, yeah, so we're going to get freedom, you know, but not in our lifetime. I'm like, well, why not? I don't, why, why do we keep kicking the bucket? Why can't we have a little fucking freedom in my lifetime? You know what I'm saying? Right. That, that's why I do what I do. It's not for money. It's not for publicity. That's, that was not, that was not the intention. I, I, I do feel a lot better after I have these conversations, but that's, that's not the intention. Cause if I feel better and, and you feel better and, and other people pick up on it and start to live like that and they feel better, then we might see it in our lifetime, you know, but that's uh. That's that's the reason that I do that. That's the reason that you do it is we're not conditioned, right? We're continuing to learn how to unplug ourselves to to live life a little bit better. What do we have here? What about geoengineering? Yeah, that's been going on for a long time. There's 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 uh, geoengineering. This isn't like one of my one of my biggest spots I could talk on. Like I know about <laughs> it. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm like I'm not a, I'm not a super genius. Uh, but yeah, they, they're, they're engineering us in a, in a hundred different ways. I, I know what gene engineering is, but I couldn't put it out words and even sound like I know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry. Man, well, that's I, the problem is they assault you on so many different levels. You're playing, you know, we're playing catch up here, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, yeah, I know what it is. I mean, I know what chemtrails are. I, 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 there's a lot of shit going on. It's like uh, cryptocurrency, right? I, I seen this guy walking around with wads of money at work. He was just like telling me about Bitcoin, and he was cashing out. Was, I guess he was pretty good at it, right? I, I sat next to him, and he'd have these paper bags of money. Oh, I, I sold some more Bitcoins, and I was like, fucking Bitcoins? What the fuck is that? I mean, I guess it's been going on for a while, right? But it just right underneath my nose. So he, he gets me to, to set this up, and there's all kinds of them. People at work are seeing the money too, and they start setting up, you know, Bitcoin shit. And I don't really know what's going on. I mean, I understand it sort of, but I don't know it like 100%. But uh, I put my money in there, and I kind of lost. I, I don't. <laughs> I haven't looked at it um, since then. I put in, you know, some money. But anyway, like geoengineering, I, I, I'm, I'm meeting people, and, and I'm linking up, and this is Unity. Everybody in this room, hopefully I talk to you at some point about something else on a deeper level or, or we're all communicating right now. Um, I'll send you the link. She sent me um, something on Bitcoin to, to understand it better because I, I told her, I was like, you know, I, I don't get it. I want to. I went in on it. It seems cool. I, I feel like I'm getting outside of the, um, the market here, but I'll send you the link. She told me to... To understand how it works, you got to understand, like, the machinery value. So I got a link. Hopefully, you know, that, uh, that starts to, to wake me up on some stuff as far as, like, cryptocurrency goes. But I'll send you the link. It, it's new to me. I lost the last time around. Uh, but that's another thing, right? This, this whole conditioning thing, that's what we're doing right now. We are, we are unconditioning their bullshit. We're going to learn what's going on. That's, and, and, and we're going to hopefully – cleanse every other other people's shit what, what was the other thing that we were talking about a second ago what was it hmm. conditioning of cops oh yeah that yeah. was it uh they condition you to believe that some people have rights that others do not below like, me that's what they that but that's that's huge right it that's is. why people that's why people follow it right the cops act the way that they do because they have been taught that they have rights that you don't have, and they can do things that you can't do. Christmas, that... I think Christmas is. I man, listen, I did. I just, what, I don't, I don't know what you think about Christmas, but I, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say it real quick, just to answer this. Yeah, maybe I heard somebody's feeling. I don't, I don't, I don't. Christmas is bullshit. Christmas is, it, it is bullshit. It, mm -hmm. it is, it is, it is society conditioning you and coddling you to. Uh, uh, participate so that uh, all the big companies and you know the world and the banks can get you to open up your wallet for a day. <laughs> I think you, uh, I think that that's what they've turned it into. I mean, it, but yep. you know, originally it's about this this Christ consciousness, right? But let's let's uh, throw the blanket also, over that and buy everyone presents, right? Yeah, yep. and open our wallets. Yep. That, I mean, it's all 
based on paganism. You know? It is, um, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's that's neither here. They've 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 transformed it into that. Uh, you know, Christmas is just like Valentine's Day. You really need a reason to go out and buy gifts because you like somebody. All of a sudden, it's like on this one day we should do that. I yeah. I mean, I bought a couple gifts. I love my fucking mom. I I, got I have these conversations with her. She just she don't want to hear it, but I'll, I'll continue to have them. I gotta buy my mom a gift, man. I gotta participate in this thing, and you know, I gotta buy my bike. I gotta buy some other people. So I, I I I I do it, but I don't get crazy about it. I mean, look, we're fucking cutting down a living tree <laughs> uh, to celebrate the the birth of this false religion by watching the tree die in the front room. That doesn't make any sense to me. It, yeah, right. It, yeah, me, me too, Samantha. I, I, I do it for other people, you know. It makes even them happy. Even though it's based on a false, uh, you know, I mean, a notion, I mean, exoteric stuff. The esoteric, when you get down to that and what it truly means, it, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful thing if we could only remember what it's really about, you know. And that's treating people right, the golden rule, you know, do no harm, take no shit. Yep. I mean, that's what it's about, you know. But, oh, on this one day, and they've turned it into this, buy materialistic stuff for people yep. that you know obligations now it's an obligation to do it you know not choosing to do it she samantha says she wants you to teach me how to say the name how do you say the name christmas i think am i saying it wrong is it not christmas <laughs> that's what i grew up saying. christmas i don't know it's mass i don't know i i yeah maybe I, I i say a lot of shit stupid i mean as long as everybody understands me that's cool but i'd love to know how to say it right <laughs> what a, <laughs> so yeah i mean that's that's really how it is and 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 you know people get scared that's i i don't get scared when i get pulled over i i don't know about you i i have the conversation that i have right now they let me go three fucking times I, and the last one just to, just to go back on that was was a woman and i think she thought i was fucking crazy right it was a, it was a state trooper but i'm not conditioned to to be scared of you i'm gonna tell you you know what the what the fuck is uh, Mika, M Micah, Mika, Micaiah, Micaiah. Mik oh, she's talking Mik about saying her name right. It's Micaiah. Mik oh, I'm sorry. That's why I was saying Samantha. To be honest with you, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> because I knew how to say that. That's the reason. I, that's the reason I said that. You, you caught me. You're slick. Yes, that's why. Oh, I, I know her Samantha. too. So yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. She got me though. Like you, you caught that right. I was intentionally <laughs> saying. I was intentionally saying Samantha because I knew I wasn't gonna pull off the first one, Micaiah. No way. So yeah, I, I I stayed with something I couldn't fuck up. I did the the normal guy thing. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I so I got pulled over on the highway, right? Uh, state trooper this time. It was a female. Wow, she's like fucking samurai ninja fucking cop chick. <laughs> I didn't see her anywhere, man. Any and I'm good about it. I got ways on no matter where I go, and. Uh, Boom! Got me. Like, I, I just got on there. At, at this point, I'm just throwing my keys up on the dash all the time. I'm like, yeah, uh, here we go. You know, <laughs> fuck. Every time I'm going to work, this is the worst part of my day. I hate my life. I'm going to work, you know? Uh, but now I got to deal with this also. Anyway, she, she comes up to me. You know why I pulled you over? <sighs> was it the sticker? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, it was the sticker. I was like, can I ask you something? And she's just kind of looking at me. I don't think cops are, like, used to people talking. I was like, can I ask you something? Because I've been doing this for about a month now. Pretty much every week. <laughs> Once a week, somebody's pulling me over about the sticker. <laughs> now, you came from back there somewhere. How did you see the sticker? <laughs> I couldn't have saw that sticker. And she goes, oh, we got the plate readers. I was like, oh, man, that's horrible. That's, that's whoa. <laughs> shit's, shit's really getting worse than I want it to, you know? Fuck. Uh... So anyway, I'm going off on her. I was like, you know, I'm going to tell you, like I told the other two people, I can't afford the sticker right now because i got to fix that. And that is going to cost me a little bit more money than I can part with right now uh, while paying for food, rent, and, 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 and insurance that you say i got to have too. I was like, honestly, uh, you're an enforcer, right? You're an enforcer. 
you got to think about what you're doing right now. Just please think about it. I'm just, I've done no disrespect, but this is how I feel. I told you I can't pay for the sticker. And it's not because the sticker's expensive. Well, that's like $70, but it's because the check engine light, that's not going to cause any problems for anybody. Look, I'm driving. It's not smoking. We're cool. <laughs> I'm not causing any problems here, but I can't fix that. That's going to cost too much money. So I can't get the sticker right now. I was like, so you, the enforcer, at this point, I mean, I'm not really doing anything wrong. You're not going to teach me a lesson. <laughs> I can't fix it. It's just me living life, right? And uh, now you're going to extort money from me for the state. And she's like, what? <laughs> what? I was like, you understand what I'm saying? You are seriously just taking money from me for the state for no reason at all. She she had my insurance. She goes, your your license, your insurance is okay. At this point, she didn't want to talk to me anymore, right? She goes back to the car. <laughs> she comes back. I got my window cracked. I've been seeing videos of like the really smart anarchists. They like keep their window cracked. They know, <laughs> they know some really. If you ever see some of these videos, they know some really cool shit, right? They'll they'll like tell some officer like some fuck some shit to just like those tenants and everything. They're just like. We're going to go talk about this for a second. You know, they go radio in and they're probably like, hey, man, this guy's saying he be his corpus shit. <laughs> Is he right? Do I have to let him go? You know, I think that they're totally like stonewall. But anyway, she comes back to my car. All right, look, you've probably heard this before, but we could take your car. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I heard that. And she goes, I'm going to let you go because I think you're just having a really hard time with life right now. And I was like, kind of am. <laughs> Well, you, you, you felt that energy too? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and then, and then the last guy, man, I, I did him. Man, he was just, man, he was on another level wherever his head was. And uh, he's like, well, you can fight it in court. <laughs> he didn't want to have the conversation, but he wasn't going to, like, not let me go, you know. So that, that, was, that was the one right there. What what time do we got? Uh, oh, 6.55? Yeah, I kind of got a jam. But I want to do this again. Let's do it, man. You. Yeah. Uh, just try and think about something in the world that sucks to you that has to do with authority <laughs> and, and the brainwashing. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll set it up the same way that we did. And we'll come out here and, and we'll rock about it. And then, you know, just like uh, Micaiah and so many other people, hey, Logan, uh, participated here. It turns into a really cool conversation. I liked it. I feel a lot better. I'm going to tell you, I was in a different place. Not horrible, not mad or anything, but this conversation was very stimulating. It was nice to know from you that you had the same ideas as me, and everybody here did as well. I'm real happy about that. It's probably the best conversation I had yet, so me and you should definitely, definitely do this again. Take it easy, Jay. All right, brother. Thank you. Peace. See you later, Justin. Peace.